What is up guys? So, I'm going to see if I can make thermite out of aluminum foil and iron oxide. Uh, so, thermite is literally just aluminum powder, in this case going to be aluminum foil, and iron oxide, uh, which is essentially just rust. And this is sulfur, so it just makes it a little bit easier to ignite, doesn't really do much uh, to the reaction. But that's just my uh, little way. Cody's lab made a video where he made thermite with aluminum foil and iron oxide. I'll leave that video in the description below. But that's where I got this idea from. So I'm going to be attempting to do it in a different way. So what Cody did is he kept the sheet complete and then put the iron oxide on it and smeared it on it like that. That is not what I plan on doing. What I plan on doing is trying to get this... Uh, aluminum foil and turn it into as much of a powder as I can with this 120 grit sandpaper. To make thermite you need a 75% mixture of iron oxide and a 25% mixture of thermite. So 25%, 75%, super easy. So I'm going to make 100 grams which means I need, I need 25 grams of aluminum powder and 75 grams of red iron oxide. So. I'm gonna measure that out right now. I have about 75 grams of red iron oxide in this little container. And now I'm gonna try to make the aluminum powder with this 120 grit sandpaper. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it into a really, into a ball. And then I'm gonna come over here and go right there to my vise. And I'm gonna try and compress this as much as possible to make it uh, similar to a solid chunk of aluminum or as close to that as I can get without melting it or something. Let's get to it. I have this little aluminum ball and I'm going to just compress it in the vise right now. I've just put it in the vise once and this is what I got. This little thing of aluminum. It's pretty solid. You could probably just get a hammer or something hard. Beat it down like that and it would have a similar effect. I just realized how hard it's going to be to make 100 grams. This right here, I would have to shave the whole thing down, and it's only... I'm not going to sit here and make powder for six hours. So I am reducing the amount I'm making to about 50 grams of them in total. The results actually look kind of promising. As you can see, the aluminum foil is actually turning into a powder. So that looks promising, but what doesn't look promising is how long this is going to take. I've barely even touched the aluminum. For anyone out there who's bored enough to try this themselves, I found a quicker way to do the aluminum. Uh, so you get sandpaper, you stick it to the table, you get another piece of sandpaper, stick it to your hand, put it on, and just that amount of time I got that much. So, if you are crazy enough to try this yourself, I'd recommend this way, unless you want to use power tools. I think I've done it as good as I can. Um, I added like 8 grams of aluminum powder, which was about how much I needed. And as you can see, I left a little bit on top to make it easier to light. So, right here, I have magnesium in my little magnesium container, running very low. But what I'm going to do is just grab one of these little strips. And I have that little strip right there planted into the thermite. I'm going to get a blowtorch and light it. And we're going to see if the thermite ignites. Okay, so I brought it out here to this little rocky area. I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see the reaction if there is one. I have my blowtorch right here. So let me light this thing up. So my magnesium lit on fire and everything worked properly, but the thermite did not catch. So I'm going to try it with just the blowtorch and I'm going to dump it out of the container. Okay, I'm going to go grab some magnesium and try once more. Okay, so I put a little piece of magnesium wire right there and we're going to try it once again.
it appears that using just aluminum foil and sandpaper, you cannot make thermite. Okay, don't worry guys. I will not be leaving you completely empty-handed. Right here, I have a little bit of black powder that I made myself. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to show you guys how to make this. Um, so I'll just light this off, I guess. I mean, it's pretty close to leaving you empty-handed, but at least, at least you get to see something light on fire. So this stuff you can actually light with a lighter. Very smoky stuff. Smoke literally everywhere. Um, let me know if you want to know how to make smokeless powder, which I can also do. And guys, I have a Patreon. I'm leaving the link to my Patreon in the description. It would really help because I'm a small channel. I don't make money off this channel yet. So if you want to donate in that way, that would be amazing because then I could start making some seriously epic videos.